Hi, I'm Mike Grzanek, Flight International Flight Test Pilot. We just landed Grizzly 05, Airbus Military. He's a brand spanking new A400M. I can tell you it's a great aircraft, great flying qualities, carefree handling. You can read all about it and the upcoming features before the Paris Air Show. The visit started with a session in the Engineering Developmental Simulator with Chief Test Pilot Ed Strongman. In addition to cockpit familiarization, this provided a chance to try out the automatic function which will manage available power in the event of an engine failure at a critical point of flight. Rotate. Okay, you can rotate. Keep going this time, keep on pulling. The synthetic device also gave Gazanix the chance to rehearse landing at Toulouse Blagnac, where he had previously flown Airbus's commercial A380 in 2006. During a pre flight walk around, the A400M's four TP400 D6 engines and T tail hinted at the turboprop's high speed potential of up to Mach 0.72. After engine start and a short taxi to runway 14R, takeoff power was selected for a rapid acceleration to a rotation speed of 134 knots. The flight test continued to the south of Toulouse, where the A400M's low-level handling performance and manoeuvrability was showcased. This culminated with a 3G pull-up and 105 degree banked turn, familiar from the type's airshow display sequence and a symbol of its use of the West's most powerful turboprop engines. Once at medium altitude, further handling trials were performed, down to a minimum airspeed of just 81 knots. Low noise levels in the aircraft's cargo hold, which has a 37-tonne payload capacity, came in part from the unique down-between-the-engines rotation scheme used with the TP400's eight-bladed propellers. Back in the circuit at Toulouse, work included a final tactical steep approach flown with a 15 degree nose low attitude ahead of a short landing requiring a ground run of less than 550 meters. Minimum 200, 150, 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, With Airbus Military due to deliver its first production A400M to the French Air Force by early July, our evaluation of the Grizzly suggests that the company's design could be just right.